Good morning to you too, Conrad. Welcome back to America. How was the flight? Great. Zonked out on the bubbly and some British movie about a bank heist. Now, wasn't it you who said I obsess over work too much? This wasn't obsessing. This was anesthesia. <laughs> Fair enough. So, what's the luggage situation? Under control. Wasn't in a shopping kind of mood, really. All right. That'll make things easier. Easier? I hope you're just talking about fitting everything into the car. Oh, that too, sure. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry so much. There are some things we need to go over, but that can wait until you get through customs. Give me a hint, at least. Sitting here among all these people keeping America safe? Nah, I'm just gonna wait. Good point. Celia, you got company. Look sharp. Switch to your earplug now. Excuse me, miss. Could you come with us, please? Huh? What's going on? You've been selected for a repatriation interview. This way. The hell is this? Don't panic. You were in Italy to track down Redman on my dime, got it? What? You may have found him, too, only his name is Pavoni. Okay, I hear you. Well now, Miss Kowalczyk. So, you know my name, huh? And you are? I am Agent Aikida, and... Of... Excuse me? You sure ain't CBP? So who are you an agent of? Don't get in her face too much yet. There'll be plenty of time for that later. Of course. I work in an interdepartmental task force out of Quantico. Quite a mouthful, isn't it? And don't let her fool you now. She's a lot smarter than the badge lets on. I'd like to ask you some questions concerning your movements in the last year. And I'd like a pony. Seriously though, it was a long flight and there's a bubble bath with my name on it. Well, this won't take too long, I'm sure. If you'll cooperate, that is. Now, this trip to New York four months ago, can you tell me about that? Sure. I was there to meet up with my boss, Conrad Paulson. We're security consultants. He's the one who sent me to Europe, too. It was kind of screwy, to be honest. We'll talk about Europe in a bit, but how do you mean, screwy? See, there's this guy, or I guess most people would call him a myth. Redmond. Hmm. Redmond. Now there's a name. Ah, see? The power of branding. The boss has some wild hair up his ass about the guy, so he sent me to find him. Colorfully put. So tell me then, did you find this Redmond? can't say for sure, really, but I might have found myself, and that's what really counts, right? Mm, I agree, but I'm afraid that won't hold weight with those Homeland Security boys who'd like to take you off my hands. What? Are you kidding me? I almost believe you myself. Keep going.
<sighs> so I met with the boss in New York for a conference. You know, massages, hot tub meetings with clients, open bar networking. This is going to suck. There you are, Celia. Shall we? <sighs> Time to face the music. Hey there. Conrad Paulson, my mentor. I think he's gonna flunk me today. Sorry, not Conrad. Redmond. A thief is a brand, Celia. And brands hold power. Let's talk inside. I've been meaning to see this exhibition for months. The collector I know consulted on it. A medical company? Anyway, the buyer has been calling me every two hours since yesterday. How did the job go? Uh, okay, uh, there were some complications. And just how bad were these complications? Let's take this from the beginning. I did a bit of research on our charming Mark, Bogdan Losev, also known as the Moose, former Russian mob, currently a law-abiding businessman and a collector of vintage motorcycles and cars. He's gone legit for real, apparently. Lives in the Hollywood Hills in a tasteful little stilt house where he was throwing a party. The good news is that getting in was a breeze. When I arrived at the villa, the gate was open, but one of Bogdan's goons was blocking the way. I gather getting past him wasn't a problem. Nah, piece of cake. Hold it right there. Where do you think you're going? You trying to sneak in, hoodie girl? I have a delivery for Mr. Losa for the party. Go on in, then. You just waltzed by him, just like that. Just like that. Well, maybe you should mentor me. Hey. What? Come on, we have to check the bike. Oh, shit, man. All right, I'm coming. stuck again. The rail's bent, I'm telling. Who cares? It's not like someone's gonna sneak in here. I'll stay by the car anyway. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
piece of shit door is stuck again. The rail's bent, I'm telling. Who cares? It's not like someone's gonna sneak in here. I'll stay by the cars anyway. Suit yourself. I'm gonna go check the bike. Mm-hmm. Nice of that door to get stuck like that. fine getting around those geniuses wasn't too hard they weren't expecting trouble i started making my way towards the workshop in the back corner of the garage it looks like bogdan got his old biker buddies to handle the security was locked. One of the goons had the bike key, so I had to pick his pocket. 